Hey, what's up guys? It's Jenna here from Twin Cities Collective. Today I'm back with another Tips Under 10, which I'm really excited about is our new name for our series. Today we're going to be talking all about Instagram TV, which is the brand new platform that ha came out I think like a year or two ago, so maybe not brand new, um, all about longer videos. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a cover for these because this is actually kind of a tricky step. I've actually had to make my own template for this because I can't find any templates online. So I'll show you guys my template on Canva and I'll show you guys how I make it, how you can make your own and kind of what IGTV is all about. So let's get started. So IGTV was basically Instagram's reaction to YouTube and Facebook having longer videos. You know, Instagram is owned by Facebook and it saw the potential for longer videos because of how much potential ads could be added to those in the future. One minute was the maximum length of videos before IGTV and now you can have up to 10 minutes of video. So originally when it launched, it was its own separate app. You could still use it within the Instagram app, but it was confusing. It was like, wait, why is there another app? It was just, they tried to like make their own platform and it really just didn't work very well. So they kind of have retreated from that approach and have now just really incorporated it into Instagram. So now when you upload a video that's over a minute long, it will ask you if you wanna have it be regular sized, which is a minute or full video up to 10 minutes. So that is basically what IGTV is. What's cool about IGTV is that you can actually add links to it in the description, which you can't on any other Instagram posts. So that is something to think about. Now, personally, I'm the kind of person who likes to film videos like this. You see what I'm filming. I'm filming on a DSLR. I like videos that are horizontal. I went to film school. This is how I learned how to make films, but IGTV does allow vertical videos. So that was originally their plan was to have everything be vertical, but after a lot of people not using it, they finally relented and were like, okay, you can have regular size videos as well. So I recommend personally recording videos horizontally because then you can use them also on Facebook and YouTube. So they're that size. So personally, I like to film it this way. I was really upset I had to learn how to film horizontally and they kind of got rid of that idea. It didn't work. So. A lot of the things that they didn't work, they basically found that they have to follow what everyone's been doing for 20 years on the internet. And that's just having a regular size video. And now they're actually launching some monetization op options as well. So I'm not gonna really talk about making videos today. That's, that's like a, <laughs> it's a lot of other things you need to know, but I'm gonna be talking about how to make an IGTV cover on Canva. Now, the biggest thing you wanna know is that it's kind of a weird proportions and you have to start with a vertical um, Instagram story sized image to make it so that it doesn't warp. It's kind of hard to explain, but I'll head into Canva and I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. So I'm on one of my uh, templates for IGTV covers. So this is an example of what I do for the podcast, but I kind of want to show you guys exactly how I got to this place. So when I first got to Canva, I selected, if you go here, I selected Instagram, story so that's really look at all these templates but I basically usually pick like a blank one and that's how I got here then once I get to the this size I go over to the grids and I click on this so I'll just show you exactly what I did I'm gonna delete this then from there what I do is I kind of just make a square make sure it's square and then put it right in the middle now this is basically a frame that you can drop any photo into. So when I usually upload stuff, I upload a square version. So this was last week's cover. Now personally, I also like to add something on top and bottom. So I usually add my logo and a link on the bottom. Now the reason you're going to do this, and I'll explain. So say I'm going to download, I'll just download this one. If I download this first one onto my phone, I'll show you guys how I upload it to IGTV. Okay, now I'm on Instagram and what you're going to do is you're going to upload your video like you would, scroll down to it wherever it is. This was an example of a podcast. I'm going to widen it so it fits the whole screen like a regular video would. Then you click next. You can decide if you want a short video or a long video. I'm choosing long, which is the IGTV. Then this is where you can choose your cover. 
Now you can either slide across the video to choose your cover, but I prefer to add my own from camera roll. Now I've picked this one, which again has the square in the middle and then it's actually long story sized and then you upload it like you would a regular post. Now you can also add it to a series. I do that with the podcast in this series. So now you can see though on my IGTVs, they all have a square in the center, but they're actually vertical pictures just like stories and when you see them in the feed they're actually square so this allows me to have both of them fit and it also looks like a regular post in my feed so I hope you guys found this helpful hey guys hope you enjoyed that video it explained exactly how IGTV it works kind of why it exists and also how to add a cover to your videos I hope to have some videos soon about videos because that's really my background and what I'm really good at if you want to learn more about us, make sure to join our Facebook group, make sure to follow us on Instagram, and make sure to check out our one-on-one -on -one coaching because I can actually help you with your business um, tips as well as marketing tips, anything you need help with when it comes to social media, I'm your girl. So make sure to go to our website to learn more about that, and I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.